So one question I get over and over is how do you get clean audio when you're flying your drone? Having a moving shot like this just completely changes the look and feel of your video, especially when you have super clean audio and you just have all this motion going on and it looks like you have someone following you. I'm up here by myself. I have the drone tracking me and I'm just walking and talking and I get clean audio besides that wind that's hitting. Can't really control the elements sometimes. So the process is pretty simple and it doesn't take a lot to get good clean audio when you're out filming using your drone. Now, some controllers do allow you to record the audio from the controller or from the phone. However, your phone would have to be like this to be able to get clean audio. And if you put it down or you're looking around, like you're not gonna, it's not gonna be that good. And also there's no microphone on the drone. It's a flying camera in the sky. There's no microphone on it. So what you have to do is actually use an external recorder. Now, what I'm using right now is the DJI mic. Now this has a backup recording feature and you can actually use it as a standalone recorder. So all of my audio is coming from this microphone right here. Now, the one thing that you do have to do when you're out filming is create a sync point. So I'm sure you've seen the traditional clapperboard when it comes to major motion pictures. The black and white checkered thing. Well, that is to sync sound to video in post because on bigger film shoots, they're recording the audio separate than video. And then they use the clapperboard as a sync point. And this is what you need when you're out filming. Now you don't need to carry one of these black and white checkered clapper boards, but you just need to create your own sync point. So I took the drone up, I got it in the air. I got a position where I can see myself. I started recording the audio on my microphone. And then all I do is make sure that I see a clap with my hands and I make sure that it's audible for the microphone. Now, when we get into the editing software, what you look for in the audio is that clap. It'll be a big spike in the waveform and then you match up that point, that frame to where the actual clap hits your hands on screen. So you're syncing the audio and video in your editing software and as soon as you have those two lined up, well, now you have clean audio from your drone and basically every time that you start recording again, you'll need to do one of these sync points. So it only is gonna work for that take when you started and stopped recording. Now, personally, when I'm out filming with my drone, I make sure that I have plenty of battery. I make sure I have plenty of storage and my audio, my drone and all the cards. And I just hit record once, do a sync point and then let it roll for a long duration. It's a lot easier to film in this way where you just let things roll and then you just cut out all the garbage in between. And essentially it's as simple as that. So this is a pretty cool way to talk to camera and have a lot of motion. If you have a drone like the DJI Mavic 3 or Air 2S, you could use the active track, follow yourself, and actually get these walk and talk shots that you really can't get with other cameras, especially when you're by yourself. And that's the big thing. Like this is a great way to get some really dynamic looking footage when you're alone and be able to capture audio that's super clean so that it's gonna fit perfect for the video that you're creating. Now to get rid of the sounds of the propellers spinning, you can use noise cancellation, which is built into a lot of editing softwares. And that's gonna reduce any of these background noises like the propellers spinning. Now, Final Cut recently came out with a new plugin called Voice Isolation and it actually is working super well. Now this is using AI technology to basically detect where your voice is in the audio frequencies and cut out everything else. So here's the before. This is a pretty cool way to talk to camera and have a lot of motion. If you have a drone like the DJI Mavic 3 or Air 2S, you, and here's after with 75% of the voice isolation turned on. This is a pretty cool way to talk to camera and have a lot of motion. If you have a drone like the DJI Mavic 3 or Air 2S, you, and you can hear the difference in how clear the voice is when you turn on this isolation. Now, you don't wanna put it at 100 because it might start distorting your voice. You really have to play around with this tool and figure out where your audio sounds the best, but it also is reducing enough of the background noise that you don't even notice it. And one other thing that you can do is you can add in music. And as soon as you add in a little bit of music, it's gonna help drown out some of those background sounds. But I think this is a great method if you wanna get these dynamic shots. It looks so much better than always using a camera on a tripod. And next, you need to make sure you check out this video right here, which goes through a few different drone moves that you can use when you're out filming by yourself.